this cool place where everything is made of blocks. But the only limit is your imagination. No one can tell you what you can and cannot do. There's no rules to follow. This adventure is up to you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. My name is K4A. Today I'm going to be playing Minecraft, one of my favorite games. I love exploring, building, and surviving in this awesome world. While we're having fun today, I want to share a cool story that I think you'll really like. So, imagine a place called Poolwalk. It's an ancient kingdom full of amazing buildings, just like the ones we make in Minecraft. The people there were great at mining and building, and they lived happily in their beautiful land. But what made Poolwalk really special was a legend about a super powerful gem called the Heart of the World. This gem was hidden deep underground and was said to give anyone who found it incredible power and even eternal life. King Dami, the ruler of Poolwalk, wanted to find this gem to protect his kingdom forever. He gathered his bravest knights and set off on an epic adventure, kind of like when we go exploring new biomass or searching for treasure in Minecraft. As King Dombey and his knights traveled, they faced all kinds of dangers, dark caves filled with monsters, tricky mazes, and huge underground lakes. They had to be brave and work together to overcome these challenges, just like we do in Minecraft when we team up to fight mobs or build something amazing. While I'm mining for resources and building cool stuff, think about King Dombey and his knights on their big adventure. Every block we break and every enemy we defeat is part of our own epic journey in Minecraft. Who knows, maybe we'll find our own special treasure hidden somewhere in this world. So, stay tuned, keep watching. You see, I met Emma during a time when everything felt right. She was my world, and I thought we were inseparable. We shared dreams, inside jokes, and late-night conversations that made every moment feel magical. But then things started to change. Emma became distant, always busy with work or so she said. I noticed little things or texts were shorter, our dates were less frequent. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a phase, or maybe I was overthinking. One day, I stumbled upon messages on her phone. Innocent at first glance, but as I scrolled, my heart sank. Conversations with someone I didn't know, filled with words that pierced through me like daggers. She confessed to having feelings for someone else, someone who wasn't me. I confronted her, hoping it was a misunderstanding. But deep down, I knew. Emma's tearful confession shattered my world. She said she was confused, didn't mean to hurt me, but the damage was done. I loved her, but I couldn't stay. Trust, once broken, changes everything. So I made the hardest decision in my life to walk away from the person who was my everything. In the aftermath, I struggled to piece myself back together. Nights were long, thoughts were heavy. I questioned love, trust, and whether I could ever let someone in again. But slowly, with time and introspection, I began to heal. I realized that while Emma hurt me deeply, not everyone would. I learned to be cautious with my heart, to listen to my instincts, and to believe that someday I could love again. It's a journey, not just of heartbreak, but of growth. And through it all, I've come to understand that trust isn't fragile, it's sacred. And though I carry the scars of that betrayal, they remind me of how far I've come. So here I am, sharing my story with you. Because maybe, in my journey to heal, you'll find a piece of yours too.